know what this represents? What? Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm, the calm before the storm. The goal of a mass casualty event is to make order out of chaos. It will start with chaos and it will end in order. The question is how fast we can get order out of the chaos and how quickly we can get help to the people who need it. From the moment that the bomb explodes to the moment that there's a stampede of people trying to escape. The smoke begins to clear, but the disaster is far from over. And emergency first responders ensures that if it does, they'll be prepared. I-24 News. This is the world you are graduating into. This is what I want to talk about today with you for a few minutes. To lead in shaping a new world order for the 21st century. This July, have your voice be heard. I purged. I purged. I purged. I purged. I purge because staying in is un-American. Don't let your freedoms get taken away. I purge because it's my civic duty. Show your support. I purged for my family. For the purge. I purged to keep my country great. The Purge Election Year. Every day between now and November to elect more Republicans so that we continue making America great again. And by the way, this is the first for Indiana. Our new slogan for 2020, you know what it is? Keep America great. For the purge. I purged to keep my country great. All communications are down. The government is silent. We don't know who or what is causing this. Nothing happened the way it was supposed to happen. Seven billion people on Earth when the infection hit. There was so much chaos after the outbreak. The outbreak caused a huge sell-off in the global stock market. South Korea is no exception. The Cosby dipped below the 2,000-point mark. And Wall Street was also down for a sixth straight day. Here's Kim mo with a breakdown of the numbers. South Korean markets were gripped again Friday by fears about the spread of the coronavirus as foreigners continued their selling binge for a fifth straight session. The benchmark Cosby closed at 1987 on Friday, down 3.3 percent from the day before. This is the first time the index has finished below the psychologically resistant level of 2,000 points since last September. It was another of the massive sell-offs by foreigners that began on Monday. The tech-heavy Kostak also nosedived by 4.3 percent to close at 610.7, while the Korean won gained slightly against the U.S. dollar, closing at 1,213.7. An expert in the industry says investors just aren't sure how the authorities will handle the outbreak itself and the economic fallout. Clearly, the decline of the prices has been quite severe. Uh, the peak recently was in January. Uh, it went up as high as 2,277. Now it's, we are at 1987. So clearly more than uh, almost 300 points decline. So if you calculate that, that is more than 13% decline from the peak to bottom. Uh, the main reason for this is that uh, people are uncertain about the policies as well as the uh, government uh, stance on this. Stock markets in the U.S. have also posted some of their worst ever losses on Thursday local time. The Dow dropped nearly 1,200 points on Thursday in the worst one-day drop in history in terms of points. The S&P 500 posted its worst day since 2011, losing more than 4 percent to 2,978. The Nasdaq also fell 4.6 percent to 8,566. Today, you've seen the stock market, it went down 800 points, then it was only down about 200 points, and the last time it was about 600 points. And what that's telling me is that the situation is very fluid, and any information that's coming out is, there's an overreaction. With the number of coronavirus patients increasing around the world, the instability in global markets is likely to continue. Kim mo Arirang News. You want 
some of my electricity, do you? <laughs> well, for once, the rich white man is in control. I have two buttons behind this desk. One will supply your town with power. The other releases the hounds. Reach me. Make me your brother. The hospital's generator is about to give out. Lives will be lost. Lives lost. Go on. We got a convict we were gonna fry tomorrow, but now we can't. Tempting. Tempting. Look, all our reasons mean nothing. Just look into your heart, and you'll find the answer. <laughs> First door on the right. Thank you. <laughs> Now we know one of the most astonishing stories of Rothschild wealth revolves around the Battle of Waterloo in which Nathan Rothschild used his inside knowledge of the outcome and his faster horses and couriers to play the market by getting the results of the battle before anyone else knew the outcome. And I'm reading this article from darkpolitrix.com. As many of you know, Nathan Rothschild caused a sell-off in bonds and gave all the traders who looked to him for guidance the impression that the French had won at Waterloo. The other traders also rushed to sell their bonds, causing a 95% decline in their original worth. And once the bottom had dropped out, Nathan Rothschild then rebought as many bonds back as he could at hugely discounted prices, and in doing so, he multiplied his wealth 20 times in just three days of trading. Now that history was shared in the 1934 Hollywood movie, The House of Rothschild, which was backed by the Rothschild family. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yes, bye. Have you had any news? What do you think about this rumor? I don't listen to rumors, Mr. Baring. You hear what they say? Wellington defeated. You might tell me what you're going to do. I have no objection to all lending on what I'm going to do. I'm fine. So that very important history is on the record. This July. Have your voice be heard. I purged. I purged. Show your support. I purged because it's my civic duty. For the purge. I purge because staying in is an American. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. The soul of our country is at stake. The Senate is going to win. She's going to make real changes. The purge has to come to an end. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. Senator, let's begin lockdown. All emergency services will be suspended. Your government thanks you for your participation. We're going to use this year's purge to do something about that, Senator. We're being hunted. Go, go, go! We are on our own. My God. How did it get to this? What you doing outside on purge night, Senator? Come with us. There are threats everywhere. There's death everywhere. No! Y'all need to see this. We have one goal. Survival. 